Lounge is presented by Gumatasa Coffee House, specializing in fresh local favorites. Located across Payless in Manila. Find them on Facebook. And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Artist Mark Gallasola's exhibition, Pacific Mandala, opens up on Saturday. And he gave us a sneak peek. Here's Mark. Artist Mark Delasola has been creating art in the Pacific Islands for over 20 years and has studios in Bali, the Rock Islands of Palau, Japan, and of course, right here on Guam. I still remember when I was in third grade, I had all my drawings plastered all over the classroom and uh, I, I, I failed every other subject, but I was like the best in the class, you know, in, in, in art. And, uh, you know, you got to stick to what you're good at. So, you know, and, and art's what I'm good at and I've always been good at it. So I've stuck with it, you know, I'll stick with it to the bitter end, you know. He received his Bachelor of Arts degree back in 1979 from the University of Maryland and has exhibited in Washington, D.C., New York, Spain, Samoa, New Caledonia, and more. He even has paintings in the permanent collections of the Smithsonian Institution, Washington, D.C., the Palau National Museum, the Guam Council on the Arts and Humanities, and the Guam International Airport. He is back on island, prepping for his next exhibition, Pacific Mandala. This is uh, a very deeply personal meaning because uh, you know, I was in Japan and my girlfriend was termini terminally ill and I, I would stay with her. It was during this difficult time that Della Sola learned about mandalas. It's a sacred symbol. It means a circle or a container of essence. Traditionally, a mandala served as a spiritual guidance tool aiding in meditation. So he would sit with her and design these mandalas. For him, it was a form of release and channeling what he was feeling at the time. After her passing, I came back here and do, devoted this whole series to this. And I just kept, one step kept leading to another and I kept, it kept snowballing. And it was also kind of therapeutic because, you know, it was keep, I, I still had closeness with her and I was doing this art. And then now once the series is over, you know what I mean? It's finished, and then it's, I'll move on. Working tirelessly in a studio located at Sagan Katura and Chamorro at Ipau Point, which boasts a view worthy of a postcard, he said it took about a couple of months to complete each piece. In all, there are about 10 pieces, all intricate in detail, every splash, every curve, every color. Apply the pacificness to them, which is the colors, the light, also optical effects, which are this the, the sunburst of the the spectrum which symbolizes the sun, then you have fire on one side, you have water on the other side, you have sky above, you have earth on the bottom. So they're basic elements, you know, you can't get much more basic than that and applying it uh, here on Guam, you know what I mean, and doing this here on Guam, this all has a special meaning and this series is, will have always a special uh, meaning to me. When the exhibition wraps up locally, Mark will pack up his 10 pieces and venture to Germany, where from May 29th to August 1st, Pacific Mandala will be on display at a gallery in Landstuhl, Germany. After that, come back here and start a whole new series and a whole new life. So this is kind of like a closing, a chapter, you know what I mean, in my life. And, and after this is over, it will be able to move on. So this is very, very deeply uh, symbolic. The Pacific Mandala Art Exhibition will run from Saturday, May 9th to Friday, May 15th at his studio, again located in Slagan Katora and Chamorro in Tumon. For more information, you can call Jill Benaventi at 997-5461. And to learn more about Della Sola and his works, you can head over to his website at www.dellasola-art.com. Please come. We're going to have a good time up here. We're going to have refreshments. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, this is not a, I usually have a more formal professional setting, but you know what I mean? It's, this is, this is the way it is. And this is, this is the way it is here on Guam. This is where I do my work. And please come Saturday from three to six. Enjoy my art and tell me what you think. Coming up, it's the musical styling of T. Manibusin. You're watching In The Mix.
Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live moss.